What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Melanie Loves Death Metal. Happy Tuesday. I've got a big collection update today. Uh, two VCLT packages that I got from some friends over on Instagram and YouTube. One YouTube subscriber that's got a little bit of a backstory there. And then some other random things that I got in the mail the last couple of weeks, about a week or two now, um, that I wanted to talk about. So the first thing is I got a package from Adam um, over at Reaper Metal Productions. Uh, so if you're not familiar with Reaper Metal Productions, I, I am, would be shocked as to how you're not. Uh, but Reaper Metal is Adam and Craig Horville, yes, or he goes by Reaper, uh, who used to have the Hellcast way back in the day, uh, where him and Justin did podcasts, and, and obviously Craig did them. Very good podcast i might add i actually watched one last night because i was bored as fuck the football game that was on was really boring and i was tired of it and i just wasn't ready to go to bed yet so i put on one of those episodes that i hadn't watched yet it was about band t-shirts and people commenting on them it was a pretty funny conversation a lot of it i related to uh so yeah i will link the reaper metal Pro productions uh youtube page in my in my description and as well as their instagram and their page and stuff um reaper metal has been around for a while making also, their own label and stuff like that. I don't know how, immediately, I don't know how active they are right now at this very moment. Um, but they've released a couple of things. Uh, and Adam reached out to me on Instagram. He's been following me for a while. And we, when we were talking, he's like, hey, I'm going to send you a package. And so he sent me a package. I got it in last week. Uh, it's funny because it came in a Hell's Headbangers uh, mailer. <laughs> and you always know when you're getting a Hell's uh, vinyl package because all the mailers are very distinct. And so I knew exactly it was from him as soon as I saw it on my doorstep as well as he, he plastered it in stickers. And then on the inside, he wrote a, a, a letter to me and stuff like that. Um, but he... He also has his own uh, stuff on Reaper Metal Productions. He's been doing collection updates and other like uh, vinyl updates and stuff like that. He's a huge cannibal, not, well, I, he is a huge cannibal course fan, but he's a huge cattle decapitation fan. I think it's like one of his favorite bands as well as mine. Uh, but yeah, he sent me a couple of things. So I'm going to show them off today. I've been listening to them, especially this seven inch that he sent me. Uh, funny enough, I've been, I've had this in my cart on Hell's Headbangers, like my save for later cart, and I never went back and got it. So. Thank you for that. So the first thing was he sent me a seven inch. He also sent me two tapes, which I know this is a vinyl collection update, but I'll show the tapes too. And then he sent me two other vinyl records. Um, the other vinyl records, I was admittedly not as versed in these things. I knew a little bit more about. So this is impiety, uh, despondent ecstasies. This was put out on hell's headmangers, um, last year or no. When was this? Uh, yeah, they pre pressed it last year. I think I have the page up. Let me, Pretty sure this was put, printed out last year. Um, yeah, it was. Okay. So a nice little seven inch here. So if you're never not familiar with this band, they're obviously not together anymore. This is one of those obscure underground death metal bands out of the U.S. Uh, I think Minnesota to be exact. This is their demo from 1992. Uh, and it's, it's very good. I mean, like, again, this is like that demo chasing death metal sound that I generally really like. Uh, and it, it, it's, it's good. I remember, uh, Justin actually talked about this and then he made everybody go and listen to it after it was released. And I, I remember going into the YouTube page and listening to it. And then obviously I put it in my, to buy later list that I have on Hell's Headbangers, which is fairly huge. Um, and then there is this red, it's a red seven inch. So this is pretty cool. So thank you so much. I was excited when I saw this because this is actually something that I had been wanting for a while, ever since they put it out last year. Um, so, and I don't generally collect seven inches. So that's why I probably hadn't buy, bought this right away. Um, but if it's something that I really want and I know that I'll actually listen to, then I will buy it. And I do have, and you know, I have about 20 or 37 inches in my collection. Most of them are from people that have given them to me <laughs> as gifts. Uh, but yeah, um, I actually, I know I dog on seven inches a lot about how I don't like collecting them, but I, <laughs> one of my friends on Instagram started collecting them again and he's been showing off all these like underground old school death metal relics that he's been finding. And, and I of course am just like, Oh, that would be fun to at least collect that and look for those. So I'm like, I really, really do not need to get into that whatsoever. Um, so 
yeah, I don't know. I might, I might start. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. I, I don't need to start collecting any other type of vinyl records and stuff. And just, I could feel like would, would get addicting for me. Um, and plus I don't have the space for them. I just don't have a shelf space for them. Um, but yeah. So that was in the, the box, the first box. And then he also sent me two other records. But before I show that, I will show the tapes. He also sent me a Reaper Metal Productions uh, pressing that they did. Um, I meant to pull this up and find out when they pressed this. Uh, let's see here. Reaper, 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 Metal Productions. Here we go. Black Fang. Uh, this was uh, the first. Okay, so I believe this is... Um, is this a comp or is this actually just... It might be a comp... I'm not too familiar with this band, so I'm not going to act like I know everything about it. Uh, this is Black Fang. I'm pretty sure how you say it. That's how you say it. Uh, this is their first full-length album, Goat Bone, Goat Bone Death Cult, as well as, I'm assuming, a comp that or some sort of an EP called um, Behind the Flame. I was trying to look it up on Metal Archives. It's not there. It just shows off singles and then this full-length. So, unfortunately... I don't know what I'm talking about here, uh, but this is really, really good speed, like thrashing metal, a little bit of a black metal influence, I would say sounds a little bit like there. Um, I really, really enjoy this. I'm not familiar with it at all. It's got the, you know, the knives and all that shit on the, on the tape. Um, and I really like speed and thrash, speed metal, thrash metal, especially when it's in that this style. Uh, so there you got the goofy images on the front. Uh, this band is from Indiana. And it looks like they're still active, according to Metal Archives. They haven't post, put anything else out yet, but this was a new band for me, so I really enjoyed listening to this. So thank you for that. The other tape that was in the package was, funny enough, a cattle decapitation tape. I actually already own this, but I don't own this particular copy of it because it's signed by Travis Ryan of Cattle Decapitation. So if you don't know, Travis has a Depop channel or Depop store, which is where I started selling on Depop because of him. And he sells a lot of cow decapitation stuff and he signs them all. And he'll, he'll talk to you and he'll message you and he'll have a conversation with you. Like he's very open with his fans and, and very collaborative with it. So, um, I have a couple of CDs and a couple of tapes actually signed by him in my cattle decapitation collection. However, I did not have this one signed. I do have the CD version of the sign, but I didn't have the tape version of it. So this was actually made me pretty hyped. I was, I was excited about this. So this is just a collector's item for me that I will keep. So thank you so much, Adam, for sending this to me. Um, as everybody knows, Cal Decapitation is like one of my all time favorite bands. I have their collection is ridiculous that I have the CDs, tapes, vinyls, like I, I, and I didn't sell I only sold like two or three of those records back when I was selling my vinyl collection. So I still have the meat of that collection. Um, and then finally, the other two things he sent me were two uh, releases that I was not too familiar with. One I knew of, and I've seen around, and, I, and I've heard, and I knew I knew about, but this one I was not familiar with, and, and somehow skated under my radar from last year, but this is Machinations of Fate uh, with uh, Celestial Prophecies. This is on Redefining Darkness. Um, came out last year, and again, there was a lot, or sorry, not last year, two years ago, 2023, uh, there was a lot that came out, you know, these last couple of years, and I, I don't always, don't always get around to listening to any everything. Uh, Redefining Darkness is actually a label that I follow pretty closely, so I don't know how this skated on a radar, but this is melodic, de this is melodic death metal. There's a little bit of thrash metal tendencies into it, but this is very much your straightforward melodic death metal. Um, and I, I enjoyed it. It was a good listen. I again never heard of this band. This is their second full length album. Um, their first one was back out in 2020. Uh, and they're out of Kentucky. So he sent me this vinyl. Uh, it has a printed inner sheet here. Again, I don't know. Like, usually for the most part, I keep up with what's going on over on Redefining Darkness. But this one skated under my radar that year. Uh, I think 2023 was a year of... I think, of, I, think I was really, really into... Uh, was that black metal? I don't remember. But yeah, and then this really awesome green vinyl, which with the like swirlies in it that looks cool as hell i'm a huge like green vinyl is like one of my favorite vinyl colors so when i when i saw that i was pretty pumped so this is pretty good i, I enjoyed it i listened to it a couple of times uh, i'm gonna go back and listen to their their full length and keep these guys on the radar as everybody knows melodic death metal is not one of my favorite genres it's not something that i am very well versed in i i like several obviously of you know the legacy bands and stuff like that but like keeping up with the genre in terms of new 
Bands is not something that I'm too familiar with, but now I've got a new one on my radar. So yeah, good stuff. And then finally, the last thing that was in that package was this one. This was actually probably my favorite along with that Impiety. I really, really enjoyed this. And I got to ask, based on the um, outer sleeve, I'm assuming this was bought from Red Scroll Records uh, because they always write stuff on their sleeves. And this is Flayed Disciple, their self-titled um, album. I think this is an EP. Yes, it was an EP from 2014. So Flayed Disciple is a death thrash band, very thrashy, I will say. Um, out of the U.S., uh, they have one full-length album called Death Hammer from 2012. That is what I'm familiar with. This one I, I was not familiar with. I really, really enjoyed this. Uh, and this actually ended up being like one of my favorite releases in the box. I, I've listened to this a couple of times. I got to admit that album cover, when I when I saw it, I was like, did he send me Deathcore? What's going on here? Like that is a very Deathcore looking style of album or brutal death metal. I, it could go either way really, or just maybe slam. And I was kind of like, what's going on here? But when I realized it was Flay Disciple, I was like, oh, are they even still around? I, they haven't done anything since 2022. Um, but yeah, definitely one of those little underground obscure bands, uh, that not many people talk about. I really like this jacket though. It's got that old feel to it. It's definitely a more flimsier jacket. You can tell it's like a, like an older pressing cause it's from 2014. Um, I don't have too many of these in my collection anymore. I just like the fact that it was, you can just tell it was a used album. I don't know. There's those, those things like when I'm hunting albums, yes, I would like my jacket to be as much in mint condition as possible. But I generally, if the record itself is in perfect condition, I will buy stuff that has definitely worn as long as it's not super overpriced, especially when I'm vinyl hunting in store. A lot of the older vinyls that I collect, like I'm not too particular about the jackets. Cause I think that that like worn feel to it just makes it, you know, there's something about it that's very nostalgic and, and just stuff like that. And who talked about that? Was it Canyon Bickle? I feel like he talked about that recently in one of his videos a while. I don't remember. But and then a nice red vinyl, which again, red is also my other favorite color. So this is really good. I, I really enjoyed this. I will link in the description all these releases that he sent me for you to check out. That Impiety is still available on Hell's Headbanger. So definitely go get that. That's definitely some underground obscure death metal that you should absolutely have in your collection it'll it'll you know mm -hmm, blah blah put it in there i wasn't gonna do it <laughs> i wasn't gonna do it uh check out reaper metal productions though seriously the hellcast is how i found out who justin was from back in the day because i did used to watch those episodes um and always very good conversations craig is hilarious too follow them on instagram he's I hope like you guys start coming back and start doing more podcasts and stuff like that. I think that that was the intent and I noticed that you were, there's more things coming. Uh, but yeah, bring those back. Cause I really, really like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be the Hellcast, but definitely the podcasting style because I, that is what I love about YouTube. I watch those style of videos all the time. So thank you once again to Adam. Again, links will all be in the description. Uh, the second package I got is from a YouTube subscriber of mine called Eat the Rich is what he goes by, but his name, his real name is Brandon. Um, him and I have had a love-hate relationship, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be very, very transparent here. When he first started following me on Instagram about two years ago, he was a dickhead. <laughs> A dickhead. He was that dickhead commenter that always came in and tried to mansplain shit to me and tell me that I'm listening to garbage music and whatever else. Uh, and then, and then I guess like it got to a point where I I realized he was really just trolling me um, and was in love with me. So I figured, you know what, this guy, I'm not gonna block him. I'll give him a chance. Uh, it turns out we're actually turning out to be pretty good friends now we talk quite a bit he does not like a lot of stuff that i post but he also does listen to garbage death metal so he's one of those guys he'll he'll shit on it uh but then he also buys it and i have an example of that in this package that he sent me when i opened it yesterday i about shit myself when i saw the vinyl in there uh so yeah i mean youtube is what it is there's a lot of shit talk there's a lot of banter that goes on there are the trolls that tend to piss me off and we all know that especially when they get personal and that's when i block them from the channel uh but then there's the trolls that are just like whatever man like i don't care like you hate it cool um and that's just how it is with social media but this is this is a nice a nice little uh happy ending here him and i became friends we talk quite a bit on instagram and on youtube we, we comment back and forth on things uh so thank you so much for sending me this package two of the one of these things i it was shocked about so i'll save that for last but the first record that he sent me which made me i was 
like, wow, okay, thank you, was the new Fossilization album from last year, um, Leprous Daylight on Everlasting Spew. So I've actually been wanting this on vinyl for a very long time, ever since it came out. I settled on just getting the tape and CD because Everlasting Spew, for whatever reason, delays their vinyl releases like six months after the initial release. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what, what that is, but that shit drives me crazy. They, they drop an album that I really, really like, and I'm like, oh, I really want that on vinyl. And they're like, vinyl to be can, to be announced later. And then like six months later, like, surprise, pre-order. And it's like, at that point, it's like, mm. I'm fine with just a CD. Uh, so this was that example. This is really, really good. Really, really good. Disso death. Do me. Disso death. I've talked about this last year. This was on my year end list. Um, I absolutely love this band. So thank you so much. Um, I will. Here's a. Here's a band camp code if you want to pause the video and steal it. Again, a disclaimer. If you watch this a week from today, a, a month, a year, this will probably be claimed. Don't get upset for me for not cutting it out um but yeah here's the jacket these are can be found just about anywhere now pretty much every distro has this indie merch has it i'm pretty sure night shift has it so they're very accessible now i have a feeling that's because they were pressed so much later after the release i don't know what that's about i wish everlasting speed would prioritize their vinyl pressings i know they were pr predominantly a cd only label and tapes you know started coming into the mix and now vinyl but the vinyl community really, really likes these releases, uh, let me tell you. And I know that that's one of the bigger complaints is that, damn, they need to press a vinyl copy of that. Um, and yeah, you eventually you do, but I feel like at that time, people kind of just almost forget about it. So, But I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's a pressing plant thing. Maybe they're just super delayed over internationally. I'm not too sure. I'll hit up Tito and ask him. He messages me enough, honestly. <laughs> Uh, and then it's the clear vinyl, which is like their color variants are generally really hard to get. They sell out at Everlasting Spew, and then the distros here in the U.S. always just get plain black, which is totally fine. Uh, but he got me the clear vinyl, um, so and this actually is available. Other, other uh, on indie merch I noticed, and I and I think maybe Night Shift actually might have copies. Meteor Gem often gets Everlasting Spew. Um, Blast beat. I did blast beat vinyl get my blast beat. I can't remember. Um, so yeah, I love this album. Uh, Fossilization. I did I talk about them? I, I've talked about them a hundred times on, on this channel. Uh, a hundred times. Uh, I was a big fan of them with their first like EP that they put out, but this band also has members of Jupiterian in it. They're from Brazil. This was their first full length album after releasing an amazing EP in 2021 and then a split and all this other stuff. So yeah, good stuff. I need to change this inner sleeve though. Got to get rid of that shitty ass paper inner sleeve and put my MoFi sleeve on it. Uh, so yeah, good stuff. Thank you so much, Brandon. I, I appreciate it. Um, this made me happy, but then the next one, the next one, when I saw it, I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, so like I said, he hates like the dummy, brutal death metal stuff. Like he often kind of, kind of gives me flack for liking, you know, some of the like knuckle dragging cavernous, uh, maggot stomp stuff like that. Like that's where the trolling started with him, uh, on my channel because he was just not a fan of that style of death metal. Uh, and I think a lot of it was just initially just trolling. Cause I do know that he does like some of it. Um, so this one I was not expecting to see in the package for that reason. I, this has been on my radar. I've, I've listened to it. I've seen it around on social media. It's a very hot, social media presence in the scene right now in terms of the band and who they are. Uh, but this, uh, this was shocking. And I don't know if this was a troll or what was going on with this. Um, I, he sent me the new torture album, <laughs> Enduring Freedom. Um, so if you're not familiar with torture, uh, so this is probably one of those bands that's very uh, divisive in the scene for for several reasons. I think mostly uh, because of just the style of music that it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's that's why. I'm not too sure. I think Jimmy from The Block or whatever his name is actually just made a video about why people hate this band and explained why you could potentially hate this band. Um, 
this is definitely your your slamming brutal death metal that's you know kind of uh, i don't want to call it like dummy death metal i don't know uh but it's nasty i mean it's nasty it's just this is not for everybody uh this is <laughs> it's not for everybody so this this was just actually released i think this might have just been like the second uh reissue does it say on here i don't know but every time they were releasing this it was selling out super fast and people are actually reselling this on discogs for stupid prices um so the band is um i'm pulling it up right now because i forgot to pull it up i i forgot to uh so yeah the band essentially quit on their uh their latest uh tour like the whole band quit with the exception of um the main guy behind it who I'm blinking on his name right now, like he's still there, but the whole, the rest of the other band quit. That's some of the drama that I saw. I don't know the reason behind it, but they're from, um, they're from Chicago. Um, and this is, they've actually had a couple of full lengths out. They've got one, two, three. This is their fourth full length out. Um, enduring freedom. So this is the only one that I'm familiar with. I, I saw this circulating on, Twitter a couple of months ago when this came out back in September and just, you know, of course there was the naysayers there and people were really upset about it. Uh, they just didn't like how, you know, dummy death metal. Maybe there was some, probably some cringe shit said from the band. I don't know. I don't know the whole entire backstory of this. Okay. So, so don't quote me on any of these things. I just know what, what the band is and it's brutal death metal. And obviously it's got, you know, us, war military themes that reminds me of internal bleeding um but looks like this was a a, sp a split release collaboration between days which is predominantly a hardcore label so there's probably some hardcore influences in this and within the scene which i'm pretty sure there are because i think i've seen like the shows and like them on what labels they're on and then fix my face records which is cody from sangua sugabog and various other death metal bands uh, so yeah, I was shocked when I saw this. Admittedly, I only listened to the to side A so far. Like I just got this yesterday. I have a lot of stuff going on. I'm I'm just I really need to be in the mood for this style. It's not bad by any means. I I actually quite enjoy it. I find it to be very, very fun and engaging in terms of of this style of music. Um, but this is about. Oh, uh, I mean, this seems to be pretty. Uh, like. Yeah, it's U.S. war. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to pause that and read that, go ahead. I'm not going to get into, like, the politics on my goddamn channel. But, yeah, torture. And then this is a double LP. I So I looked. I think this is, like, the newest reissue. So my guess is here he actually likes the band. And that's why he bought this. Uh, <laughs> he, he does. We, we talked about it. Uh, so it's a double LP. Both LPs are different colors here. So side A and B is this like splattery merge, like deep splattery merge or whatever. And then the other one is this like crystal clear with splatter. So again, I need to listen to this more. I need to formulate more of an opinion on it. I know a lot of people are very critical of this band. I don't really know the reasons behind it. I've seen some people like laughing about the fact that the band quit on them. Like during the tour, they said like there was no hard feelings or anything like that. So I don't know what the deal is about that, but I do know that they have a very culty fan base. And when they press stuff, especially on tape and, and vinyl, they sell out super fast and then they, they sell for stupid prices on on Discogs. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Brandon. That's my VCLT for this episode. We are 24 minutes in. God damn it. Well, I'm still going to show off these last three albums because yeah, they're things that I've already talked about on here for the most part. So, Torture. Links will be in the description for that. Okay. Two new vinyls that came in fairly recently I got from Vinyl Command. Both things I've already talked about on the channel, but I'll show them off. Finally got the new Witch Vomit on vinyl. This is one of my favorite releases this year. It's, it's growing on me so much. Like when I first initially came out, I was not the biggest fan of it yet, but I listen to this just about every day now. I'm, I'm a huge fan of this album. So uh, Funeral Sanctum, 20 bucks spin. I finally, I saw that Vinyl Command had this in stock. It was a really good price. He does not price gouge whatsoever. Um, 
And yeah, I did a whole entire video just on this album uh, when I got the tape, when it first came out. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice pressing. The back, it's got the, the blue flooding. I like that 20 bucks spin has been doing that a lot lately. Um, this is the uh, front cover is Matt Steiker, who is just one of an amazing artist. And then Lucas Court uh, did a lot of the like additional artwork in here. So, and then 20 bucks spin had been doing this and I realized the last couple of releases they hadn't been, but they give you a huge ass poster of the album cover, which I am definitely going to hang this because I love this album cover. I love it. It's awesome. And then here is the vinyl. Uh, this is, it doesn't say, oh, it's the B2 variants, uh, which goes really well. The coloring goes really well. I really like that color. I think it looks awesome. So this was a very blue package that I got from Vinyl Command. This is their third full length album. If you're not familiar with which vomit, I feel like at this point, if you've been watching me for so many years, you know, I love this band and, and I've shown off all of their other albums on here and you're familiar and yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was in the package. And then I also got this one. This was the reason why I made the order because I absolutely love this album this year and I've already shown it off. Um, because I got the CD uh, from Intuit Records. He sent me a huge package, and there was a bunch of CDs in there. And, and I was happy when I saw the CD in there. Uh, Raw Schools Raw Schools, put it out, uh, the CD. But this is now on, they are now on Carbonized um, uh, Records. Jesus, talking is hard. And they pressed it on vinyl, and that is a new Eternal album, Cryptic Lust, uh, Death Nevelers out of Arizona. This is their first one album that came out this year, earlier in the year. This is by far one of my favorite death metal releases this year. Like, I fucking love this album. It is so good. So as soon as I saw that they got put on Carbonized and that they repressed this vinyl, I was like, I am getting that on vinyl because I love that album. So I grabbed it through Vinyl Command. The reason for that is because he ships super fast. He has really good prices. And I'm trying to support a, you know, a smaller local, or well, not local because he's out in Arizona, a smaller shop. Um, so awesome color coloring, similar to the witch vomit. Um, and yeah, it goes great with the jacket here. Uh, I will link in the description again. I've already talked about this, so you should already be familiar with this. I've shown it off a couple of times now and then print an inner sheet here of lyrics in the band. Like this is, this is, this is really, really done well if you're an old school death metal head and you can't stand like the knuckle dragging uh cavernous caveman shit you'll like this like they they owe to old school death metal in the best way possible they do it really really well um the artwork is done by debbie baddick and I, I said that way wrong i know i talked about that in the last episode but yeah if you want to pause this right there i like the artwork i think it's awesome it actually kind of reminds me a little bit of the King Diamond show that I was at this past Saturday with the woman here who was basically just lurking around the stage the whole time. King Diamond was awesome on Saturday, by the way. Um, so, yeah. Eternal. Got this vinyl command. And then one more. This is a longer video today. We're going on 30 minutes now. Another... One of my favorite releases to come out this year. I feel like this one is definitely on the radar in terms of just if you're not like really into the underground death metal scene. Um, I found them on Bandcamp. That's how I know who they are and listen to it and really enjoyed the album. But they self-released it um, and it was coming from Australia and I was like, it was expensive to get. So... And then I saw Gurgling Gore was going to be getting it in their distro, and they did. And as soon as he put it up for vinyl, I immediately snatched it. I'm glad I did because it sold out like an hour later. And that is the new Crypt Crawler with the Immortal Realm. So this band is out of Australia. This is their third full-length album. I know their second full-length. Familiar with that. I have need to go back and listen to Two to Grave, their first full-length, but that was back in 2019. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is this is. I really like this death metal album. It is got riffs. It's got that at times can remind me a little bit of morbid angel it's got you know it's pretty much your straightforward death metal done really really well uh so here is the album artwork um which was done by i'm blanking right now i had it in my head i talked about it on 
my Instagram. It's here. It's there. Elmar, Dan Goldsworthy did the Elmar. So here's the printed inner sheet. Dan Goldsworthy has been doing a lot of Elmar lately for for a lot of death metal and metal bands as a whole. I think he did. Did he do the new Blood Feast album? I think he did. Or was it Evil Dead? It was Evil Dead, I think. Um, so there's that. And then it came on this awesome green vinyl. So very, very good um, death metal. I mean, you think based on the album cover that it's going to be like murky and swampy. It's really not. It's pretty much a straightforward death metal with really good riffs. Um, more higher clarity vocals, not so much of like the deep gurgles or anything like that. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's good. I really, really like this album and I've been spinning this a lot. So I'm really glad that I was able to get this. Uh, like I said, it's sold out on gurgling gore. I'm hoping that they get like, they go through a label or get some sort of more mass distribution because this is hard. And there's been several people that have been try asking me like, how did you get that? Where did you get that? And I'm like, well, <laughs> I got it through Gurgle and Gore. I got really lucky, but it's the anticipated third full-length album from Australia purveyors of death metal featuring eight tracks about life, death, and beyond, limited to 150 copies. So, link will be in the description. Again, I, you might have to get this directly from Australia. I don't know. I don't know of any other U.S. distros that currently have this, or, or Euro distros for that matter, because I know some of you guys are from the European area. Uh, but that's all. That's my hefty collection update today i can probably do maybe one or two no nah, you know i don't know i've got several new releases coming in i actually have one coming in today so these will continue but they won't be as frequent as they had been like i said in the last video so thank you all for the support thank you adam and brandon for sending me this stuff uh, again all links will be in the description where you can get this and listen to them check out reaper metal productions um yeah that's all i have i'll see you guys in the next one